Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look of the WeMaxit portable screen connected to your Samsung Galaxy device. I already did a video of the screen connected to the Nintendo Switch using it as a, a second screen or a screen for the Nintendo Switch console. But a lot of people have been asking me, hey, how does the screen work with uh, Samsung devices when you're trying to use Samsung DeX. So that's the reason why I'm making this video. Now the cool thing about connecting your Samsung device or smartphone to your, an external screen is that of course you can use the, the bigger screen to enjoy video gaming uh, and using a gamepad or of course you could connect the keyboard and a mouse and you could use it as a computer because the Samsung DeX is basically like an operating system that behaves like a computer or Chromebook. So that's the reason why I wanted to make this video and you know if you have a Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S10 you only need a cable connected to the screen. Same thing here, this is the Galaxy Note 9, you only need a cable, a USB-C cable connected to the screen, and that's it. You don't need no dock, you don't need no other uh, external device for it to work. So that's the reason for this video. Now, of course, a little hands-on look of the screen again, just like I did on my prior video. Uh, these are the connections on the screen. Uh, you have two USB-Cs and one full HDMI. On the other side, you have the volume button or menu button, which works as both. You have the power button and you have a 3.5 millimeter jack for audio. So you can actually connect the headphones there as well. And the screen does have a speakers. They do have speakers, but they're in the back of the screen, but they do sound really damn good. Now, one thing that I wanted to clarify about this screen is that yes, you can power the screen with just one cable and deliver video and power to the screen, but that only works if you're connecting it to a computer, to a laptop, and that way you can use it like a second screen and works pretty damn awesome because all you need is one cable and that's it if you're connecting it to a phone right to a phone which is a weaker device than a tablet or a laptop yes you're gonna have to use the power cord that connects to the top usb port right and then you're gonna use the other cable that connects to the second usb c right which is the one right on top of the hdmi port and then when you connect your phone right which is a galaxy device is gonna automatically start mirroring your phone. That's it, that's how cool it works. And what's cool here is since we're using USB-C cable to USB-C port, um, you can actually have access to the touchscreen feature of the screen, which is really, really damn cool, look at that. So I can actually manage around like that, open my applications like that, and it works pretty damn awesome. And since the screen is actually matte, it's not glossy, you're not gonna see fingerprints on the screen at all. That's one thing that I really like about this screen, that it works really damn nice. But another thing to keep in mind is that if you do wanna play video games on a external screen like this right here, you're gonna have to leave it like this in, in mirror mode, and then you can actually launch a video game. For example, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my my controller right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and launch a uh, future fight, which is from Marvel, or Marvel. So here I'm loading up the Marvel section of this game, which is was, was added a couple, right after the movie, it was added. So right here I can actually see that. Of course, this, my controller is connected. Let's go and skip over here. And now, like you see here, I can control Marvel. I'm gonna play playing a little bit. It gets loud as hell. There you go. <laughs> okay. 
there you go i got to press the home button over here so we can quit the game so like you see there it does work pretty damn good when you're playing video games and the screen looks really 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 damn nice when you're playing video games especially because it's a 1920 by 20 1080p and yes it's 60 hertz but when you're connecting the phone it really doesn't matter it really still looks good uh, also the audio sounds really loud and if you want to control the volume you just click right here you know there's a volume toggle over here you can control the volume there um here you can also if you press right here and hold i'm going to press right here and hold here you can also access some of the menu sections here uh you can put this to gaming mode to you can also control uh, all the audio as well uh, it also has hdr as well so you can control all that right there if you want and another cool thing is that when you're connecting your phone to the screen it's actually charging the phone as well so that means that you can play as much video games or, or, or watch as much movies as you want on the screen and it's not gonna burn the battery life on your phone normally i would actually connect my usb-c to hdmi on the monitor on a computer but it would actually burn the battery life uh, with this screen it doesn't burn the battery life at all when i unhook my phone after hours of watching movies my phone is at 100 percent battery life that's really cool so here let's go and switch to samsung dex which is very easy tap right there boom switches really beautiful to samsung dex just like that and now you have a full operating system on an external screen connected to your phone that's really damn awesome and from here you can do a lot of things one thing that you can't do that i notice is play video games in samsung dex mode uh, when you look in your app section you can't even see your video games for some reason i don't know why but i can't even see the video games that i have installed on my phone look at that i can't even see it but you can actually go through all your applications and see them right there and when you try to load a game i think there was a game that was actually visible here but when i tried to load it it said that it can't support it doesn't support samsung dex so that's one thing to keep in mind here i already have loaded up uh netflix like you see here and netflix opens up like a full you know full application like if it was connected to a tv it looks pretty damn cool look at that and it can lower down minimize the applications uh, i can open a uh, browser right there like that it opens up like that it always opens up like this and then you can also maximize the screen and when you're going through the screen uh through the website you can actually you know touch the screen and maneuver around you can go down a website you could go to another you know website here uh you can actually access your gallery so if you want to watch see photos like that you could go do like that as well you can zoom in if i want to zoom in i can zoom in and it and like you see there it's very 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 responsive with your fingers swipe opened up see there really cool so that's one thing that you could do here you can lower down everything of course over here in the bottom you have a couple options there as well we can put that bigger there um here you got if you tap right there it'll see all your application that's open in the background so of course i'm using my finger here but if you want to actually use a keyboard connected to the screen yes you can do that but you would actually have to connect your keyboard to your phone using bluetooth now i do have a keyboard which i was going to test this one right here but the problem is that this keyboard actually connect via these rf devices that connect to a usb port yes you can connect a hub to your phone and use it like that with this device but the problem is is that i don't think samsung dex is gonna work if you're using a hub you know i think samsung dex has to be connected directly to the cable to your phone for it to work properly good just like on any computer you can access your files you know your media files and your document files and all that um, if you have documents you can also open them up as well uh, let me see if i can uh open up i got pdf there always use pdf like you see there i can go ahead and up so yeah you can actually do that let me zoom in zoom out like that 
get out of here close yeah and of course if i click right there if i want to close all the applications i just go like that and it closes everything all over here in the bottom you have all different type of toggles click right there it'll take you to the calendar which you see right there the calendar you can actually put any calendar there all right right now i got the google calendar you got this right here right uh, you got a screenshot i could take a screenshot there and it takes screenshots off the screen um, here the volume i could control the volume for the phone for the ringtone for the media for the system keyboard if i click right there what it's going to do is going to wake up the screen and it's going to over here show you the screen uh the keyboard on the screen uh, of the phone if i click it again like see here if i click it again it hides the screen there you go uh here it shows you oh, and it locks the, the tablet if I want to unlock it again, I'm going to have to actually enter my code and it unlocks the screen. I can see the battery life. This is the battery life right there. I can actually see Wi-Fi connections. I can see Bluetooth connections. I can also use my phone as my touchpad. But right now, since this screen is a touchscreen, I don't really need to use my phone at all. So that's the cool thing about connecting this phone to the screen because the screen is actually touchscreen that's awesome and that's it so that's basically how this works and like you see here everything is so responsive like you see they're so responsive that it is a very very great experience when you're loading this up on your external screen so yeah samsung dex here with this screen works pretty damn awesome when you open netflix for the first time it's going to open like that but when you're gonna go full screen, it's gonna tell you, hey, you gotta restart the application to go full screen. And when it does, it opens up like if you're opening it up in on your TV. Looks pretty damn cool. And of course, the videos here, they look pretty damn awesome as well. So like you see there, when you're playing a video on Netflix, it takes the whole screen. It actually takes the whole screen. You don't see no black bars on top. No black bars in the bottom because this is a 16 by 9 screen. Here, Silence. It's a movie that I just finished watching the other day. Really awesome. Go right here. Okay, this one actually opens up with bars on top and bottom. So I guess it depends on the movie you're watching. You know, that might have might be full screen or might be like this. That's the reason why I did this video because I wanted to share how this phone works with the screen when you're using samsung dex now like i said before samsung dex is available on almost every samsung galaxy device s7 to s10 but if you want to use it with no docks whatsoever just a cable connected from the phone to the screen it i think it's only compatible on s9 and s10s and galaxy note 9 that's it guy when the galaxy note 10 comes out I believe, I'm pretty sure it's going to be compatible just like it is right here. On older Galaxy devices like the Galaxy S8 and 7, you still have um, Samsung DeX, but I'm pretty sure you still need the dock for it to work with um, a screen. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Here I can go ahead and open uh, YouTube, go full screen right there, and look how YouTube actually looks. I'm here connected to the device. So, of course, this screen goes for around $300. I know it's not cheap, but for the people that actually need it and looking for this, this is a good device. This is a good device. And the cool thing is that this also works with your consoles as well. You could connect it to a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. So, you can carry this on a bag, your PlayStation 4 on a bag, and you can use it as an external screen for your consoles as well and a second screen for your laptop as well so there's a lot of things that you can actually do with this screen so that's up to you it depends on you how you want to use the screen also if you want to get out of here and you don't want to just unplug the screen from samsung dex like that you could just click right there again it goes back to mirror like you see there so fast it switches back right away and you could just unplug it and that's it you don't need to do nothing more you can just unplug the screen from the power and just close it up and put it in your bag and you're good to go that's it guys so guys thanks for watching this video this was the WeMax it portable screen connected to your samsung device using samsung decks and also playing some video games as well thanks for watching till next time guys bye bye